Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus. And Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vitas. And Usha. Let's start episode 564 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Jason and he writes, Hello Vidas, thank you for your email. My dreams are to be truly expressive in whatever I play. I want to do my own arrangements and improvisations to pieces. Important to me is to take songs which are outside of the church or classic repertoire. With these songs I would create interesting organ pieces with real musical depth. I'm talking about arranging music like Jimi Hendrix, Voodoo Child, David Bowie, Life on Mars. There are so many. Sticking with more standard pieces than new stuff like Hans Zimmer, (coughs) interstellar pieces would be great. But above all, the knowledge and ability to arrange and play modern pieces. What is holding me back is my brain over complicating music theory. Thank you, Jason. Music theory is always a drag, right? Yes. <laughs> Can you create arrangements and improvisations without knowing music theory? I don't know, unless you are a genius, probably. Yeah, you can do intuitive things without knowing what you're doing, but then you cannot explain it to others. That's right. So I guess you know, the knowing music theory is a crucial thing. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you always can explain what you're doing, it's not always that interesting. Right? True. It has to be some mystery. I know, but you know, I think nowadays there are no problems, you know, in creating sort of transcriptions because basically what he is talking about, you know, Jason, it's basically transcriptions. And I think that many of uh, music soft- softwares nowadays can do that for him, or at least help to do it. Well, yes, for example, let's take a song by David Bowie or Jimi Hendrix, right? Or Hans Zimmer, if he can hold, if he can get a hold of the score, like, like, like a, um, like a original score notation, and then put it into uh, Sibelius or Finale, any other software that does arrangements, automatically and with the press of a button he can specify you know how many voices does he want to have in each hand or how many stave stave notations uh, if it's suitable with pedals or without pedals things like that and um, this he can specify the style actually and uh, and that would be produced automatically i'm not sure if that's, that's the best result but for starters, it's no brain, no bra- no brainer. And I'm not really sure if that's a legal thing because all these, you know, offers that Jason mentions in his letter, I I guess we are still alive, still living, and I don't know what about copyright. And do you have a right to do arrangements if we 
Music. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix and David <coughs> Bowie, they're not with us anymore, but uh, obviously copyright holds. Uh, yes, because I think it, what it's called like 75 years after death. In some countries 75, in some 50 after death. But still, you know. But of course, copyrights can be renewed after, after that. So you have to be really careful and license your arrangement you can purchase licensing actually and uh, and uh, and then do this legally sure can you do this for your own enjoyment if you don't don't share the music anywhere just for your private use legally i think so do you think if so? it's for yourself yes i'm i'm not so sure i i'm not a copyright lawyer so don't cite me on this Better to consult copyright lawyer on this, even for private use. Uh, if you're creating like a like a cover song, as they call it, if you you create your own arrangement of the original copyrighted popular music song, that's really complicated and guarded very very fiercely by copyright holders. Yeah. And you know, while talking about all this kind of music that Jensen mentions, I'm not sure that you know organists. This is the best instrument for this music to to be played on. Yes, some for us. Might, for so us. Some of it might work, but some of it might just sound ridiculous. You know, this is our taste, and and people, you know, have other tastes, you know, and what works for us not necessarily works for for Jason, and vice versa. Uh, people enjoy, for example, listening to Queen's Rhapsody on in blue, uh, not in blue. <laughs> Bohemian <laughs> Rhapsody. <laughs> yes, who created Rhapsody in blue? Gershwin. That's right. Yes, Bohemian Rhapsody on the organ. Some people enjoy that. That's not what my taste prefers, though. But I don't judge other people. Not at this point in my life, at least. What about you, Osha? Me too. Freedom of expression should be uh, should be available to all uh, on earth, whatever they want to do. But let's see if no, if 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 Jason wants to do everything from the scratch by himself, and he definitely needs to know music theory. There is no way to 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 escape that. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, that's something to think about. If, if you're serious about arranging, arranging and improvising based on those arrangements, you know have you have to know what you're doing and music theory helps to see the ideas behind music that composer or songwriter in this case have put into the piece. And you know I guess because we are talking about popular music now, I think we have a little weird version of music theory too. So basically, what what applies to the common period may not be applied to the you know popular music. That's right. So this is all another world. Yeah, yeah. You have to do many experiments and do trial trial and error before you find what works and what doesn't. That's the best teacher, I think. Yes. Thank you guys, this was with us. And Osha. Please send us more of your questions. We love helping you grow. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. 
You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner, and I have committed to taking the time to get it right as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vida Santosha, thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video, how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.